The last PC with AMD CPU I had was AMD Athlon X P1700. I bought in 2003 and it lasted me until 2007, when I switched to Intel. It made sense to try AMD again with AMD Ryzen 1700 and see how it would compare to Intel i7 7700K in some of the software that I'm using. Both systems are without overclocking and other tweaking. I'm testing both in 3ds Max, Maya, Premiere, After Effects, Photoshop. I cloned the system disk from the Intel system to the one for Ryzen and I just added the motherboard chips driver, so the OS and the settings are absolutely the same. It's not something that you should do, but this is just for test. First Photoshop. Here I'm using one of the benchmarks I used before. The link is in the description so you can test it yourself. If you watched my previous video where I compared this Ryzen to the 8 core Mac Pro, you will remember that it took 8.9 seconds, so 1 second less. But I have switched to a different RAM, 16GB instead of 32, and I have GTX 1080 Ti instead of the regular 1080. And the latest Windows build and Photoshop update. So at this time I'm not quite sure what is the cause of the slowdown. Anyway, the Ryzen was faster than Intel here, probably because the filter uses all CPU cores, which Ryzen has them twice as many, even though these are on lower clock speed. For the Premiere test, I have cut movie trailer into 7 pieces and added 5 random effects to each, and I'm exporting it to H.264. As you can see, all CPU cores are being used on both systems and GPU usage is less than 7%. Despite all the differences, total time was the same. So as a bonus test, I wanted to see how much GPU was influencing the results, since it was used only 7%, while CPU seemed to do all the work. So I have found an old Quadro 600 card that you can buy for $25 and repeated the test on the same Ryzen system. And this time the CPU was used only about 20%, while GPU was used 100%, but it took twice as long. Let me know what your thoughts are on what is happening here. For After Effects test, I'm stabilizing some 4.5k red footage and in this test Intel was a lot faster, as it seems that the task prefers higher clock speeds instead of more cores. It might be different when stabilizing several clips at once, so I'll test that sometime soon. In the next test, I'm exporting the same stabilized footage as H.265 with the same random lumetri color settings applied. I have read that this Intel CPU was supposed to have hardware encoding for H.265, but I didn't see any improvements in speed. GPU doesn't seem to be used even though rendering engines was set to CUDA and lumetri color was supposed to be one of three things accelerated with GPU in the latest After Effects. In the next test, I'm rendering this 13 million triangle mesh in my 2018 with update 4 and V-Ray 360. Since 3D rendering uses all CPU cores at 100% and more cores is better, the Ryzen is much faster here. Intel would have to have double the Ryzen clock speed to make up for the half of the number of cores. The Ryzen finished in 46 seconds, while Intel needed 36% more time. That difference was consistent with Cinebench and Cinema 4D that other people did, so I will not repeat the test. In the next test, I am using 3ds Max 2018 and latest V-Ray to render preview of 360 degree frame of an architectural VR tour. Again, it's better to have Ryzen system. Intel took 42% more time to finish, and that would be a difference of 4 hours on every 10 hours of rendering which is very significant. This was a quick set of tests and the result might have been different in different projects. As I'm spending most of my time waiting for 3D renders to finish, I will be definitely using Ryzen system. But for anything video related, it doesn't seem to be that much of a difference, except for stabilizing. After Effects stabilization is far from the best or the fastest on the market and I will pay attention to whoever makes the stabilizer for 360 VR footage as I will work more in that direction with the access to Views 360 VR camera. This is not the most optimal Ryzen system for this money, so in the next video I will add my two cents on what I would get if I was building the best system overall for a jack of all trades. Cheers.